everyone, this is Mei Yu. I'm glad to see you here on another fun Friday. Every Friday, I try to do something new, fun, or challenging. Thank you all so much for your clever name ideas in my previous combined video. And also thank you for sharing your sibling stories. Some of you have been asking for another role swap challenge. So today I'm going to be doing part two of this series and I'm going to turn uh, Ariel, the Little Mermaid, and Ursula into like uh, their opposite roles. So I wonder how Ariel's going to look like as the villain and Ursula as the good guy. In case you haven't, you can check out part one of this series on my Mayu channel. When I was sketching out the concept uh, for this design, I was thinking about how am I going to handle Ariel's facial features because uh, normally, like traditionally, you know, villains in, um, in animated movies, they tend to have harder, harsher, more jagged lines and points. And the heroes, especially if she's like a young, beautiful princess, she's gonna have like softer lines in her face. So I wanted to turn all of Ariel's like soft, friendly looking lines into harder looking lines, but I didn't want to make her look um, older. I tried to make her still look around the same age. I also wanted to add a few more like extra details here and there, like with the fins around her ear. Designing her shell bras to look more jaggy was interesting because I obviously didn't want to follow the round curves of the shells. I just wanted to do something like this really like more um, like aggressive looking. So I added these sharp points to them. It was really fun stylizing like her tail and like the uh, the opening of the tail to to make them look like jagged sharp like just pieces around her waist. I thought that was really interesting. And of course, I have to get Flounder in there. I was thinking about how Ursula has um, her uh, eels and it would be really interesting if I turned Flounder into some kind of evil sea creature as well, but still make it still look like Flounder in a way. So I was thinking of how to um, like uh, reimagine him as if he was like this evil sidekick to um, Ariel, the evil mermaid. Um, and I really like giving him these curled fins, uh, that jagged looking, uh, like the, the body shape. And of course, you know, he's not gonna look friendly anymore. He has the uh, facial features, which are kind of different. So I thought that was really interesting. It's a totally different look for Flounder. And when I was inking this, I was getting really excited because I was really looking forward to inking the jagged, uh, curly tips of her fins. I think the fin design that I made uh, is interesting because it's not something I'm used to seeing on, well, of course, Ariel or any kind of nice looking mermaid. Uh, and usually when I draw mermaids myself, like my original mermaids, I tend not to draw fins like this. So it's nice to try something different, and I think the like the um, uh, the curled tips remind me of these large skeletal like fingers. It's just this like this slightly creepy element in this design that I really like. And as for Ursula's design, because I'll be drawing her as like the traditional looking like good guy. Uh, kind of character, I'm going to change her facial features a little bit to make them look friendlier. I decided to design her features to include her eyes that are uh, like a lot bigger and friendlier looking. The pupils are a lot bigger inside the eye and I didn't want to emphasize the hooded like um, eyelids that she had before because I do think they are kind of sinister and scary looking. So I redesigned her face to make it look like you know, she could be the good guy in this story. And for my own artistic touch, I did want to include that little, whoop, little curl at the end of her hair on top. I think it's really cute. Thank you all for using the hashtag um, MayYouArt for sharing your photos 
of your masterpieces you made with my coloring books, Garden of Dreams, Pop Culture Reimagined, and Gothic Cuties. I'm so happy and so proud of all of you. It's really interesting to see how differently line art can look like when you know you add different color schemes and mediums. I'm in love with your artwork. Keep up the good work, everyone. Keep coloring and keep sharing your wonderful creations. I'm going to be doing a holiday coloring video next week. So yeah, color along with me if you have my books. To get them for yourself or as gifts, go to my Mayu bookstore on Amazon. The link's in the video description. I think it's great that many of you are letting your imagination and uh, creativity run wild with my coloring books. It's not just relaxing. I think coloring is a real skill that can help with many other things like your imagination and strengthening your artistic eye. And maybe some of you can even become colorists in the future, where you can work with comic artists and graphic novelists to color the books. Understanding color is also an important skill in many other art careers too. So keep coloring everyone, keep sharing them, I'd love to see your new creations. And speaking of coloring, when I was deciding on the types of colors that I wanted to include in my piece, I was thinking about giving my aerial design darker colors because usually villains, they tend to have darker colors. And as for my Ursula design, I wanted to give her uh, colors that were a little bit brighter than what I'm used to seeing her in. For her skin, I wanted to keep the same like pale uh, lavender slash purple. I do think that color plays a huge role in how an, a piece of artwork turns out. It sets the mood and the tone, and I just think, you know, experimenting with colors is really, like it, for me as an artist, it's one of the big areas that I just love to let my imagination run wild. I really like how I designed my good Ursula to have, uh, like her tentacles aren't so long or scary looking. They look more friendly, they look shorter, and I wanted to kind of pair that friendly look up with colors that are not so severe. So for the body of Ursula, I was trying to go in a direction that I felt would make sense for a good guy to have. Of course, not all good guys in pop culture would have like nice bright colors and not all evil characters have dark colors. But basically I was looking at what Ariel and Ursula were originally designed as and I wanted to kind of change the color schemes to fit this challenge. For my Ursula design, I didn't want to rely on all uh, like different shades of purples. So I thought it would be interesting to add some pinks in there just to brighten things up a bit. I'm glad many of you are getting my ebooks to learn how to draw and develop your artistic skills with. Recently, I've launched my ebooks on Kobo. You can search Mayu Art on Kobo to find my ebooks. All the download information for Kindle, Kobo, Android, and Apple are in the video description. Because I didn't want my Ursula's dress or the body to look like uh, the exact same like tone as her skin, I wanted to add some darker purples to the top part. It's darker but it's bright so I felt it could still look like uh, it's part of a good guy design and then as I went down I kind of blended it with the pink and I just love how the two colors merge together. I think the like how smooth it is is just so nice to look at. And as for my evil flounder I tried to find a color that was a little muddy and not very bright. I still remember watching The Little Mermaid when I was really young and just becoming so in love with mermaids in general. It was a huge part of my childhood and even when I watch it now I just feel like oh it's just so like it's such a like a, a safe place for me to to go to and it's a, a very special feeling. I do think it's one of my most favorite Disney movies of all time. That and probably The Lion King are my top two, I think. But anyway, let me know in the comments if you want uh, which Disney movies are your favorite. 
Oh, so try captioning this piece. What do you think could be going on here? Their conversations or any fan theories, backstories, let me know your thoughts in the comments. I love to read them. I've also made a notebook with my mermaid role swap design. It should be released on my Mayu bookstore on Amazon in the near future. I'm not sure when exactly, so follow me on Amazon to be the first to know. Sometimes my books go live on Amazon before I'm able to announce them in my videos. I've also got some other journals and notebooks that I made that are lined up waiting to be released. I can't wait to get my copies. Yay! Which other characters do you want to see me swap roles with? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching. If you want a part 3, smash the like button and subscribe in case you haven't so you won't miss my future videos. I will see you next fun Friday. I want to say a big thank you to all of you who got my different books. I'm glad that you're having fun creating your own masterpieces using my coloring books. I've been seeing some amazing coloring pieces from you under the hashtag MayYouArt. I'm so proud of all of you. Also, thanks for getting my first art book. I hope my collection of my hand-drawn, full-colored art from my reimagined videos can give you lots of inspiration. For those of you who are learning to draw using my ebooks and workbooks, keep practicing and you will get better. The more you draw, the better you draw. There are over 50 books now on my Mayu bookstore on Amazon, all in one convenient place. The link is in the video description. See you next week. I've got another exciting Fun Friday video planned. Till next time.